Hey you guys, today I'm going to do my ghetto views. And since it's National Siblings Day, um, I have my sister on the phone and we're going to talk about some topics. And for, wait a minute. And for my new subscribers that I have been getting, uh, this is where I talk about um, things on the news, on the blogs or whatever, and I just give you my opinion. Um, just know that me and my sister opinions are totally, some of them are totally different. Um, and she has her own mind, so I don't want nobody coming at me for what she says. I'm just saying. Um, but we're going to talk about some topics. So we're going to talk about, uh, Black China and Rob Kardashian getting engaged. What do you think about it? You go, girl. <laughs> you know, y'all know my sister like Queen Petty, right? Queen Petty. Y'all know, know, know I love Chloe, but fuck the rest of them. Yeah, well, fuck her too. But, um, no, I mean, when I first. And why you got me cussing on a Sunday? Girl, I cuss Sunday through Sunday. Fuck what you talking about. God, <laughs> shit, I feel like God knows our heart. Like, okay. Um, anyway. I, when they first started dating, I did feel like, you know, this was stupid, petty, wouldn't be my motherfucking brother, she would have got it, I'm just saying. But, as watching her, like, on Snapchat and stuff like that, and I follow her on social media, well, I follow her on Instagram and Snapchat. But, um, yeah, I like their relationship, I think they cute, shit, he... He been doing good since he been with her. So, right. if this is real, congratulations. If this is another publicity stunt, I'm going to be done with them too. Like, I'm going to be done. <laughs> if it's a publicity stunt, congratulations. Y'all want... Because he's the only Kardashian I like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want him to taint himself for them. You know, and be like them. I really, really don't. Um, I like Kendall Jenner, but other than that, I don't like a Jenner, I don't like a Kardashian, I, I don't. My sister and my niece is all into the Kardashian clan. Me, hell to the gnaw. Mm -mm. Um, girl, what is you doing? Uh-uh. Can you push mute on your phone, something? Oh. <laughs> but anyway, um, another topic, wait, what's the, oh, my prayers and condolences goes out to ex-football uh, player, ex-Saints football player, Will Smith, um, condolences to him, you know, his wife, prayers, all that, they were shot. I don't know the whole full story. I just saw it on my timeline last night. But, um, yeah, that was sad. I heard the wife is fighting for her life. Um, but he died. And that is really, really sad. Like, don't nobody got... Man, don't nobody got time to be going out and this is what happens. Like, oh my God. Like, man, I, I don't know if it was like a car crash and all what... Yeah, and ain't nobody got time to be going out with their man or they woman and have to deal with some fucking idiots. Like, for real, for real. Like, that was so sad. It was all up and down my timeline. And I'm like, Will Smith, who is that? Like, oh my God. Right. And I click on it and I'm like, that is so, so sad. Um. So, yeah, my prayers and condolences goes out to the family. Um. Before I continue... Keep continuing to pray for my family as well. My papa service will be on this Friday. I'm still trying to work out details of getting to California. But, um, yeah, pray for my granny. She is, like, one of the strongest women I know. I'm telling y'all, because if it was me losing my man after 50 fucking years, bitch, y'all will not see me on camera. Y'all will not be able to hold me up. Like, for a minute, like, especially the strong man that my grandfather was, bitch, I'll be, like, laid out, like, bitch, I can't think, I can't focus, uh-uh, but my granny's been, 
Uh, yeah, my granny, like, I keep telling people my granny is so hood. Like, she is really the hood granny. Like, because, bitch, I will be on the floor. Um. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way. I be really want to punch my sister every time she talking about, I'm at granny house. Bitch, I will. Like, they know I'm far and I, I'm in my feelings because of that. <laughs> I be all in my feelings and my sister and my auntie now be posting shit talking about they with my granny. They about to go have fun with my granny. I be want to. Yeah, you know what, bitch? I will agree I'm a hater on that situation. Yeah. I want to be with Granny too. Bitch, she like me more than she like y'all anyway. I bet you can't move it. Watch when we get out. I'm going to Snapchat her saying she like me more. Girl, let me shut up. I was about to say. <laughs> bitch, and I was like, you can show her too. I would have been like, bitch, I will push you out your wheelchair. Don't play with me. Bitch, I wish you would. <laughs> but don't act like I won't tell her that. I'm just saying. I love my granny. But she better not tell me my sister better. I'm just saying. What? Oh, my bad. Oh, and then the next thing is, um, don't forget the blackout. I'm so scared to talk about this topic right now while my sister on the phone. But, <laughs> yeah, the blackout is June the 16th from 3 to 8 at the Crow's Nest in Atlanta, Georgia. I hope everybody is going to come and attend and party and turn up. Not everybody. Oh, my bad. What you mean, not everybody? Girl, you know Mikhail ain't coming. No, bitch, I'm not calling you tomorrow. No, 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 bitch, I'm not calling you no more this week. No. Well, yeah, I am. I love you, Kevin. I love you, Kevin. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I love everybody, I support everybody. My sister is, I told y'all we have, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Even Justin J. I'm just saying. No, I don't want nobody to think because I said his good. name. I love everybody, <laughs> but right is right and wrong is wrong. You can't talk about nobody when you do the same fucking thing. It's just, I mean, it's just real. Okay, so what you saying? Like, I'm sorry, but I can't even say it because I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a Janet fan, bitch. I'm going to jump on you like motherfucking Beyonce stands. Don't play. 
But I do. I agree with that. And I'm a Janet fan through and through. But this is why a broke mama like me that raises her kids and worry about my, my responsibilities. I can't afford to be going to these concerts and then people do this. Because some people take off for work. Some people go buy new outfits, plan for babysitters, you know, plan for travel time. And to get... No, I wasn't talking about Michael. I was talking about Jane Jackson. That goes for Snoop, and I love Snoop. That goes for any fucking body. Like, yeah, I, I, I understand where you're coming from. As a subscriber, I totally understand where you're coming from. But that's why this is, and, and, and this is no shade to nobody, but this is why I have to go where it's a lot, and this is not towards Justin or nothing like that. But I'm just saying, if I was going to any YouTuber um, event, I would make sure it's a lot, probably a lot of people going to be there because I don't want to go there and then certain people don't show up. I still want to go and still have a good time with either, with other YouTubers, you know, that did take the time to come out. So I get where she's wow. coming from. I get where she's coming from. And that's no shade to Justin because if I had the coins to go see Justin and Adrian, bitch, I would be there with bells on, twerking with Adrian like hell. You didn't want to know me, ask me, bitch. I would have been. But I'd rather go through that. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, but that's why I like the blackout is because it's so many YouTubers that you like. It's so many YouTubers, even small YouTubers, that you, that's not on the panel that goes there and you all get to see each other, you all get to network, have fun, party or whatever. That's why I like the blackout. That's why I like right. the blackout. Now they need to hear up and make that shit in Vegas and we gonna be all right. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Other than that, I, I don't have no problems with the Yeah, I just wanna have fun. But if you guys are coming to the blackout, please come to have fun. Um, no drama, no shade fences, none of that. We just, the blackout is like really to party. And if your ass is coming to sit down and look at people so you can go home and make YouTube videos to talk about it, stay your ass at home. I'm for real. That's some real shit. Because I'm telling y'all, I went last year and it was, it, nobody was uppity, nobody was clicked up. None of that kind of stuff. It was just a big fucking party. And that's what I want it to be again this year. That way, you know, YouTube can sponsor it. You know what I'm saying? The next time that black YouTubers want to have something. You know what I'm saying? They looking at, y'all notice that they looking at black YouTubers now. Let's make things more positive so they can start saying, yeah, let's invest in that. Let's, let's let them have a party in Vegas or on an island on a boat or cruise or whatever it is that they plan for the blackout. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want it to be so much mess that YouTube passes up. Really. I, I want to have fun with everybody. So it, I don't give a fuck if you got, like I said, one subscriber or a million subscribers. If you there on some positive shit and ready to have fun, that's what I'm about because this shit is expensive. And the more I keep looking at motherfucking stuff, it gets more expensive. I'm like. So, anyway, that Friday, everybody is going to Six Flags. I don't think I'm going to be there because of my finances. But everybody else is going. Saturday, the blackout, 3 to 8 crow's nest. Sunday, not sure what they're doing, but I'll still be there. So, if you guys want to plan something, even for my subscribers, and we go have lunch or whatever it is. Then let me know. What? <laughs> Bitch, no, I'm not paying. What the? <laughs> Bitch, if I was paying, I'd be going to Six Flags with everybody. Shut up. See, this bitch. Mm -mm. This bitch about to make me really cuss. This bitch want me to pay for everything. Like, This bitch be having more money. This bitch one go to bingo be winning every goddamn time turn around. And this bitch talking about am I going to pay. Bitch, are you going to pay? Bitch, I'm about to go in a minute. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dumb bitch. Um, Tisha Campbell 
and Dwayne Martin filed bankruptcy. And everybody was in an uproar. Do you know how many people fucking filed bankruptcy? Right, my mama. I'm going to slap the fuck out of you. <laughs> Like a big deal, bitch. Yeah, bitch, if they not, if they not like Iggy, you know what I'm saying, not paying their taxes and shit, then I can understand. But filing bankruptcy, it's so many people do that for so many different reasons that I'm not going in on them. I do say, bitch, if you living beyond your means, back the fuck up. See, this is why it's hard to go go out with friends that got more money than you because bitch i'm not gonna be trying to live like you and knowing i don't fucking got it i y'all see how i said bitch i don't have it for magic mountain so well six flags whatever y'all fucking call it in y'all city california people call it magic mountain but i'm just saying i don't have it you know what i'm saying so i know i don't have it I'm not going to be over there giving up my motherfucking light bill money for it. It ain't going to fucking happen. You know what I'm saying? So, if they are living beyond their means, they need to back the fuck up. Bitch, y'all don't got Tamar and Vince money. So, sometimes y'all can't go to dinner with Tamar and Vince. Y'all ain't got Kevin Hart money. Don't go out with motherfucking Kevin Hart. I'm just saying. I just... Some of these celebrities, I just be like, man, y'all so fucking dumb. Bitch, if I had a, a lot of money like these celebrities, bitch, I'm still going to live in the suburbs in some good, in a nice neighborhood. I'm not fit to go, go buy no mansion. And, mm-mm, no, no. And especially when you're a struggling-ass fucking actor and actress. I'm, don't act like they be on everything. No, no. Motherfucking Dwayne Martin is on BET, and so is his wife. What else they on? They can't live like in a mansion it. off fucking Martin sitcom money. No. They can't. No. That bitch is going to be on Hollywood Divas next. I'm just saying. <laughs> he bitch is going to. They, they, they need to go get that reality show check. I'm just saying. Fuck that. Why they be talking about reality shows. I better go get that Hollywood Divas check. You, Tashina, Arna, all y'all. No, no shade. But I'm like, fuck that. A job is a job. As long as you ain't selling your pussy, I mean, shit. And some of them I ain't mad at. I'm, it depends on your family situation. Um, What else has happened in the news? I don't know. I don't follow people. Oh, my sister just sent me this damn thing. I don't know how true it is. I did see something about Tammy got in a fight on basketball, while filming Basketball Wives. Um, L.A., but my sister sent me a link saying that, um, Brandy and Shawnee had a fight. They let her come back again for another season, and they had a fight. If that is true, do y'all think Shawnee gonna let that air? Hell no. <laughs> I don't think Shawnee gonna no. want nobody to see her get her ass whooped. Or she might, just so she can, um say she's not this boss bitch, she don't treat them like that, so, you know what I'm saying, but I really doubt that she's gonna show her getting her ass whooped on camera, I really, really do, they gonna cut that real quick, um, anything else that happened, little girl, that you wanna talk about, little girl, I just wanted to talk about the blackout. I can't stand. This is why I ain't calling her no more, y'all. <laughs> I'm not calling her no more. Anyway, oh, you know what? I was going to do a separate video. Well, I probably still am because I need to send it to Sauce Nightclub or whatever. But I had so much fun at Sauce Nightclub last night. Oh, my God. I had so much fun. Um, I wasn't gonna go, but, you know, I just really needed to get out the house yesterday. I was gonna be on an episode of Snap. So, I was like, let me get out of here, and I am so glad I did. Shout out to Eddie VIP Hall. Like, that is, like, the best promoter out here for me. Um, because he always hooks me up with, you know, line skip. I don't have to pay to get in, so... You know, shout out to him. And when I get in there, they treat me so cool. They treat me really, really cool. Um, shout out to Webb. 
um shout out to dj mizzy mad dj so hype dj yogi styles they all played last night and i'm telling you the crowd was rocking from we got there when the club opened and the club was already like people People was in the parking lot waiting on the club to open. That's how much everybody wanted to be at Sauce last night. Then, um, it's an artist out here named Sean Summerlin. He came and he filmed his video. I think it's going to be up on World Star sometime today or tomorrow. But, um, he filmed his video there. And then we, who else came? Oh, Eddie Fuse came. He's another artist. Oh my God, I love me some Eddie Fuse. He is so cool, dope. He got Bad Boys and Sin City Radio Station out here. Um, so shout out to Eddie Fuse. Who else was there? It was so many people there last night, and it cracked so hard. I mean, I left about almost three, and it was still like people getting in, paying to get in, still buying tables and shit to get in. So when I say it cracked last night, it cracked last night. So, shout out to everybody at Sauce, the 702 crew. But yeah, I'm going to do a separate video so I can send it to him. But yeah, that shit was cracking. So, if you ever in the Vegas area and you looking for a hip-hop club, like all hip-hop club, only place to be is Sauce on Saturdays. Because, well, there's some other clubs that's starting to get hip-hop, but it's not all hip-hop if you know what i'm saying you get some hip-hop and then they remix it with top 40 music but if you want some twerk music some trap music sauce is the place to be and it's like 10 minutes outside of vegas it's in henderson nevada um by the galleria mall and like it's fun it's fun it's only like 10 minutes away from me so it's really really fun <laughs> but yeah i have fun um anyway we about to go what? Shout out to YG and Nipsey Hussle for making that fuck Donald Trump song. <laughs> it's so many people making Donald Trump songs, but that Nipsey Hussle and YG was really hard. It was it went hard. So if y'all haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out on YouTube, probably World Star, wherever you can go. That's gonna be my ringtone. Yeah. Oh, and make sure you guys are registered to vote. Make sure you guys are voting. Just don't vote for Donald Trump. I don't give a fuck who you vote for. Just vote, but don't vote for him. I'm just saying. Cardi B for president. You stupid. Oh, and fuck, man, Cardi B mixtape is, man, I love Cardi B mixtape. I listen to that mixtape every day. Oh, my God. I do. I listen to her mixtape every day if you follow me on snapchat you know i listen to cardi b a lot right now i'm listening to dej loaf mixtape um but yeah i oh yeah joe moses is hard like if you west coast yeah joe moses ty dollar sign they like man i i play them on repeat really i don't if so if y'all got some popping music in y'all city state it don't matter if it's a local artist. Let me know who they are and I'll check them out. And I'll even give them a shout out if they even local, if they good. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, make sure you're checking out Sean Summerlin Music, the Nipsey Hustle and YG. Always shout out Compton AV Music, Cash Doll from Detroit, Young Invent. Love his music. Um, shout out to, like I said, the whole 702 crew, Sauce Nightclub. Eddie, Mr. VIP, Eddie Fuse, um, all the DJs. Oh, my girl, DJ Kelly J, is coming to Detroit. I'm not sure exactly the date, but she's from Detroit, and she's coming back there to do a party. So if you in Detroit area, go show my girl some love. Like, she is a dope-ass DJ. And I like, you know, to have dark-skinned female DJs, black DJs. I support her a million percent. Um, yeah. So, I'm about to go. She about to go to bingo or wherever. I hope she wins so I can beg for some money. I'm just saying. <laughs> Y'all knew I wasn't going to be able to beg for some money. That's why that bitch laughed. Anyway. Um, yeah. Follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Make sure you're getting your... Wait a minute. Let me put my phone down. 
your it's all about support shirts you could order them at the ghetto view at gmail at pay, um, paypal.com and once i receive the money you can even put it in a message box of what kind of shirt you want like black and white black and gold stuff like that so i can get the orders out as soon as possible i'm trying to get them out by the end of this week or the early part of next week because i have to have so many for him to make to give me a good deal so <laughs> yeah but and that um the orders that i got i will be sending them out this week and i'll talk to y'all in the next video like i said paypal.com the get of you at gmail.com that's all and put send money not good services because it takes a long time for me to get the payment all right you guys i'll talk to y'all in the next video